All right, guys. We're here for round two of the Team USA vs. Team Finland PlayStation 3 World Nations Tournament 3. And we're playing on this uh, second round on Metro. This map, we have a number of perspectives. We have Fetz with us as well. We're going to perspective. Fetz, how are you? I'm doing great. Excited to see Team USA kind of put something together here. Um, kind of hoping they can um, really show some of their skill off this round. I hope so as well. We have We Do on Team Finland. We have Nick Sari on Team Finland. We have Al Boy. We and then on the U.S. side we got Snack Pack 96 and we got Dirk Omaha on the U.S. side as well. We got the Quad Cam. A lot of pushes. Here it comes. Ugh. Look at all these pushes. Nick Sari already with a double. Shotgun. Ooh. Too many, many there for the Spaz 12 maybe. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of structure. Good work though, and uh, good pressure on uh, Team USA, who's desperately trying to get. Uh, what do they need? 200 uh, some tickets here to to come back from their loss last round. Yes, and they are taking. Uh, actually, let's go to Dirt Omaha. They are taking Bravo back, but he goes down very quickly. Wow, it's booked too soon. Snack Pack 96 does get back up. Uh, he does shoot someone in the face, but not enough. They at the first round they. Uh, Team USA lost, unfortunately, on the Russian Knox side. here, he just had, what, a four-piece with the C4? Ooh, there? he did. Killed himself that, nice, with it. Nice but catch. I didn't catch that. Yeah, that was a, that was a good uh, good move. I think a squad wipe, so that was pretty effective. Good it it was. And uh, Finland's still taking Bravo. Guys, Team USA has to win by 215 tickets to capture the victory in this round. All boys in the M320. Taking it out onto the front escalators. We do, on the other hand, on Team Finland, already pushing up on a front esk. Boy, Snackback tried to come up back escalators, and he couldn't even peek that corner without getting just mowed down. That's crap. Finland already showing us what helped them out win last round. That excellent map control and lane recognition. Yes. Uh, Siri in a really good uh, head glitch almost like on the yeah. escalators. Using those escalators. Their advantage. He's won. Oh, all but an explosion happens in his face. Misses his thing. But as you'll notice, the uh, Team Finland is dropping C4 presence down. Oh, that's great. That's that's uh, that's something you don't see too much in competitive No, play, you I've don't. Watched. But with this many it's players. Fun, though, you know. It's, uh... With this many players, you can do all sorts of things. Which, Really only, you know, as I was you know, thinking about uh, recently, one of the things that, that is going to be featured in Battlefield 4 is that you can now use elevators. So what if they redo Operation Metro and you can actually use the elevators? Think of the be, uh, The first thing that pops in my mind is putting C4 and then sending the elevator down with nothing but a bunch of C4 in it. Yes. Um, <laughs> Dirk Omaha with a great double kill in M320 LBG. Look at, check out Weedu there on, a, what, a three or four oh. piece in the blockers. Just, uh, does he, he finishes the last one. Goes for two more. Dirk Omaha, though, with that LBG. Oh, that was good. That was, a, that was a fun little battle there. That was impressive. Dirk Omaha has gotten Bravo back with the rest of his teammates. They have taken it back. Still one more left. He sees Alboy. Alboy goes back. You get the revives. Come on. Let's, uh, let's see Team USA push up here. I'm just rooting for a for a good competitive match. To be honest. Yes. Uh, this isn't I, because I think, you're uh, not you're necessarily pro American, <laughs> but no, <laughs> actually, um, I really enjoyed watching Team Finland play in the last three matches, and they've really shown a lot of skill. They yeah. have. Uh, just kind of want to see them keep going and uh, live to fight another day here and. and Yes, Nexari is uh, on Team Finland, uh, keeping his squad up in back uh, back lockers. But the thing is, guys, is that they don't have Bravo yet. Now this can be played two ways. They can they can make sure they never get back raged, and then eventually consolidate down, create a buffer, if you will. Because remember, even if you have Bravo, spy in never spawns in close. It's always way far back. Yeah, Durka getting some revives and getting a lot of kills in the lockers there. He does. Now, you, you talked about last video that it's too bad Snack Pack isn't here because he's always so sneaky. But guess what, guys? He is being <laughs> real sneaky. He is. He's playing on he's playing on US side, right? But he's near Alpha. He's so sneaky. He is sneaky. Yeah, he's good. 
<laughs> What's he doing? I don't think I've ever been on those awnings there. Uh, I don't think those are load-bearing awnings, by the way. <laughs> no one looking for them, uh, because no one is trying to take Alpha right now. No. Seriously. Um, oh, he's, he's gonna make his move! Happening. He's making his move, guys. Where is he going? This time going the long way around. Maybe a little too sneaky here for my taste. He's a recon guy, so he may be pushing the spawn beacon down. Hiding it in the bushes. He's hot. That's a good spot for it, but I guess he he does have the advantage that they <laughs> still hold two flags. So All he right, doesn't now, have to be real aggressive here. Now I know, guys, I know that, that you don't want to see a bunch of just snack pack hiding in the bush bushes footage. But just remember, he's hiding in the bushes. <laughs> just, just, I, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you guys posted. But tell you in mind, the U.S. Had already has uh, Bravo. They now have a lead. It's 289 to 273 in favor of uh, Team USA over Team Finland. Yeah, and we saw Finland hold the double cap almost the entire game. What, maybe 60 seconds where USA had control? Uh, USA has a lot of work cut out for themselves if they're going to hold this double cap for that long. Oh, yes. Oh, but going back to snack pack, still doing nothing. <laughs> uh, but I imagine, here's a story. I, hear, I imagine that if they get wiped on Bravo, they will all squad bomb on snack pack. That's my guess. That's my guess. I'll tell you what, it's an amazing amount of patience to be in this high adrenaline competitive environment and to have the patience to go lay in a bush. Yeah. And just wait for the fact, you know, just wait for the opportunity for your team to get a back spawn and uh, back rage. Oh, yeah. A lot of discipline there. It is a lot of discipline. It's always great to have a player like that on your team. Oh, and Al, Al Boy. Al Look at all the people him. on top of Ticket, from behind Ticket Boot. It's crazy. Nice kill there on Mayhem. All dying. And, uh, back to the paddles and back to the M16, doing a lot of work. Gotta so, yeah, get this guy, though. No. The M5K up close is really hard to beat. Edu making a push on Bravo, getting some cover at the ATM. He's got some help, and he sees a lot of enemies. There's a lot going on on his Yes, they, they are taking Bravo back. Here comes Finland push. But like I had, had hypothesized, Snack Pack already positioned on Alpha. Burn it down, putting down the recon. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> but they spawned on him. Oh, there's a squad. Look yeah, at it, guys. Waited. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. That was clever. Let Finland start getting the burn on Bravo and taking Bravo, knowing that means that they have a lot of uh, bodies on Bravo, and there's no way they're going to leave Bravo and come back for Alpha. Yes. That makes for an easy capture. Snack pack with nerves of steel <laughs> ends up... It ends up maintaining the lead, 14 USA in this, all the while Big Omaha pushing back up into Bravo. A lot of kills in favor of Team USA right now, but they are taking damage. They're only going to get blowed up. Next you know, with a double. This takes me back to uh, the first two matches between these guys with the Alpha Charlie split again by Team USA. Something seems to be uh, at the front of their playbook, perhaps. Yes. It does. It does feel a bit familiar. I guess if you have a snack pack on your team. Yeah, a snack pack. Sneaking around, that's a, that's a effective strategy. Now, when so, you get a snack see, pack oh on boy. your team, do you get like six of them when you buy them? You know what I mean? You get like six snack packs. 96 of them. Or 96 snack packs. It, it's, it's, it's 96 single serving clutches. He can only have one clutch per game. Nope, he got two yeah. that one. He's still going. He is still going. Durka down in the subway tunnels. Let's go, Durka. Snack pack on the other side of the map, holding down Alpha. Just a pretty interesting strategy. It's gonna be really hard for them to hold that Alpha Charlie on this yeah, map. Yeah, it's bro. difficult. You gotta be getting a lot of good kills. Durka Omaha trying to clear out. Now he sees everything's fine and dandy on his side. But the one thing I about I thought Damavan was tough to hold the Alpha Charlie strategy on. I think uh, Metro's got to be hard. worse. So. This is hard. And Nixari already pushing to Alpha with a double, with a triple. Wow. And the revives. Yeah, good work there by Nuxiri. He kills Snack uh, back. He said that's enough of this uh, Alpha Charlie. <laughs> We're going to take this back. But this is the opportunity now for Team USA to push everything they got into Bravo. Yeah, Nuxiri's busy looking for the spawn beacon. He knows there's probably one there. And uh, 
That's got him running around looking for it. Yeah. Where's the spawn? They're still thin. But there's so many places to hide a spawn beacon too, especially yes. for a single player. You gotta clear all these bushes, clear all the rooms and stairwells and the hallways. So. Oh yeah. Pretty effective strategy here. Uh, but we see Finland with the double cap again. Yes. And not a very big ticket lead for USA. They gotta get on that double cap really fast here. If they, they are. are. Dirk Omaha, I'm back. Ask, he's, uh, he's, he's, oh, he, he's down. Mind. They all go down. down. A little control by Fenlin at this point around Bravo. Weedu's in a really good position overlooking front stairs. He can pivot on back stairs and uh, swing around and cover the left stairwell if he needs to. Yes, at the same time, Alpha is being contested by Team USA. Uh, is that Snack Pack? I don't think it's Snack Pack. Like, it's, uh, no, it's Snack Pack. It is Snack Pack. It is Snack Pack. We're a Snack Pack cam. <laughs> Let's take a look. He's trying to. Oh, he's using a guy! Oh, he gets him! He's oh, like, sorry! Oh, nice shot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> next sorry. He's right looking. back up and he's gonna go for that revenge. He's, killer, right, he's mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's a mad guy and they're getting the bleed. They don't even need to kill him. They, just, they got the bleed. They got too many guys on it. Uh oh. Mexican Undrum. Is that his name? Yeah, it is. Mexico <laughs> back on Bravo with some help. They're gonna make an attempt to take Bravo. He gets shot though. Yeah, snack pack still up. And back up. Uh, so we do see Team USA is gaining the advantage on Bravo if they can dodge some grenades here. <laughs> oh, revive snack pack. Reviving on Easy. Alpha, man. <laughs> snack pack. He's a uh, he's a fun player to watch, no doubt. Yeah. Not taking away from Team Finland here is just playing ultra effective. Yeah. Uh, every time you go to them, they're they're looking down a lane or. They know, are. Hitting their assignments and controlling the map really well. Yes, they, uh, I think they are slowly getting back. Going to Alboy, they are slowly go getting back onto Alpha. They're going to get it. Going to Weedoo. Weedoo is also uh, pushing under Bravo. So even though they're almost all capped, they're going to get Alpha back. They may even get Bravo as well. It's 184 to 227, Team USA over Team Finland by almost 40 tickets. 40 tickets, but... Man, that's a big deficit to overcome. Finland really put themselves in a good position with that first round. Yes. Uh, Noxiri with the shotgun trades out on the front escalators. Always frustrating to trade out like that. Yes, on that note, guys, with it being, 200, being 222 to 170, Team USA can only lose, in this case, I think, eight tickets, six tickets, yeah, eight tickets, and, and, and then they're done. And so even though this was a very hard-fought round, I, 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 I think Finland's got this. It looks like we lost Snack Pack again, unfortunately. Not a good time for Team USA. No. Uh, this guy's about to pick up the slack. They're playing for pride now. They still want to show that they can win the match. Uh, go head-to-head -head with this excellent Finland team. Yes. Goes now down tell me, Fetz, how I mean, Snack Pack we have seen consistently having problems with his PlayStation. Is this a is this a is this typical of PS3? Is this a hardware issue? Is this a network connectivity issue? What do you think it is? Well, you know, you, you got to look at the other players in this game and realize that it's not happening to any of them that we can tell. Um, I would say Snack Pack maybe just having some some router issues or some yeah. issues with his ISP. Uh, that, actually, I, I saw. I did. Solid. I did see an error on his screen. I'm not going to show it in the cast, but it said, "You've been disconnected from the access point." Do you think his uh, little sister is is watching too many <laughs> YouTube videos? Yeah, there's something going on there. It looks like with his personal internet. Um, you know, it does fluctuate. It depends on um, you know, what Dice has been doing with the servers, whether the connections are solid or not. But for the most part, on consoles, very solid connections. So. Uh, definitely an issue with his internet directly, and that's unfortunate for Team USA. He's he's a huge asset to the team, and we, we've kind of been having fun watching him we play have. as well. So. It really is too bad. I hope his little sister's watching this <laughs> and realizes how much damage she is doing to his reputation here. But you see, they're not giving up. Durka is gaining ground on Alpha. That's good. And, uh, uh, is, it, is it an all cap? Alpha oh. goes to USA. They got Bravo though. Finland's got yeah, Bravo. Yeah, Finland did get Bravo. Like, here he's making his way to Alpha, and we're looking at uh, oh, Durka gets shot in the face by Alboy. 
Not gonna Don't get that flag, he says. No. See, we do turning around and going back to Charlie. Uh, man, Finland is just all over this map. A lot of strong players spread out. Uh, just doing their jobs here. Durka being forced to spawn clear back on Charlie. And like you said earlier, that doesn't always mean you spawn on Charlie on this map. That can mean you spawn quite a ways away from Charlie, in, in fact. Yes, go into Alboy. No, Alboy. Uh, oh, no, we're not sorry, still. They're all dead. Go into Weedoo. Weedoo is pushing on Charlie <laughs> and, and uh, throwing a bunch of nades. Being very aggressive on Charlie. You. Some desperation maybe with Durka going to that recon class, trying to get down some beacons and help his team out. Uh, taking over maybe for Snack Pack, who was their beacon guy, kind of. Yes. At this point, you really got to pull out all the stops. I'm sure they're doing the math and they realize that, uh, you know, as far as the tournament goes, that they're not going to win this, but they are certainly not going to go down no. without a fight. Durka Oma takes out Revolver to solve her. And is able to secure Charlie. I didn't know if he was going to get it, but he, he took a little patience and was able to burst his M5K and take out take out uh, take out Team Finland on, on Charlie's side. Now pushing on Bravo. I'm here with the shotgun. I don't think I've ever seen so many shotguns in a match as what these guys are using. Very effective with them. They get in those close quarter situations and it's really hard to beat a shotgun. So. It is very hard to beat it. Now I will tell you that one thing we see in the PC land is that when players are playing on the high ping against one another, a shotgun is a very effective tool because of how the netcode operates. You can get single one kill shots if you can hit approximately in the right directions. Yeah, good tip. That's, uh, I'm sure that applies with... A little bit to console as well with the distance oh, these players face going against each other. So. Yes. Score right now 156 to 118. Team USA is still beating Team Finland by a little over 40 tickets. Snackback still not back in the game, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, but we do see USA with map control again. You know, they're holding two flags. They're playing the strategy that they need to play to win. Yes. Alboy using the MAV to do a little bit of recon, making sure there's no... There's no there's Enemy no issues that they're able to find at Alpha Point. It's curious. You wouldn't expect to see too much MAV use on a map like this. Uh, kind of uh, fun to see them pulling out stuff like that. It is. This is a troll MAV. Is, is that what this is? Over the place. I think it's maybe a troll MAV. I think he no, you... can get it. Where is he going? He can leave it in this tunnel hidden. It'll be a pretty effective motion sensor yes. for him. So that could be a strategy. Or not. <laughs> what is he? All right, let's just let's just keep on going. Uh, go to Nixari. Nixari uh, using some M three twenties. Looks like smoke. Uh, trying to move up. Oh, Nixari gets a single kill with the Spas twelve, but gets taken up by Mayhem Double O. Erica's eyes light up as he sees too many targets and can't commit the one. Almost a really good move there, but I've been in that situation where. There's just so many people to shoot. Yes. You don't even know where to begin. I know what you mean. Go into oh, let's say Al Boy. It's 145 to 81. Still oh, in boy. favor of Team USA. Oh, yeah, look at Finland's uh, having trouble organizing a push on Bravo. I think. If anything, what we've seen in this round has been USA's ability to disrupt on Alpha has really caused some problems for Finland. Yes, going to Nexari. Nexari sees a bunch of dudes and gets killed in the face real fast. Going to Alboy. Alboy really playing more of a defensive position, making sure that no one gets around Alpha. Yeah, he's trying to secure against that uh, triple cap at this point. I'm sure he realizes it doesn't matter, but uh, just playing smart. Playing conservative, they've been going hard at it. For we a do with a great double kill there. Throwing nades to make sure those bodies don't do anything. Will the nades get anything? No. But he still pushes up. Oh, that was close. Erka in the lockers, uh, still with the double cap. I, I really think their ability to make waves on Alpha and disrupt it has helped them hold the double cap. This is one of those maps, too, where I kind of expected USA to come back up quite a bit with uh, the side they're playing from seems to have the advantage. So. Yes, going to... Really well.
well playing from that side. Like, sorry, on ticket booth. They're just struggling to get out of this area, and, and Nixari, every five, six feet he takes, he gets taken out yet again. Going to Weedu. Weedu sees one using the uh, the AEK 971, reloading that Rex. Zerka surrounded by enemies, takes no. one out, but too many for the 870 feet. I've been watching Naxiri and Durka shooting with the shotgun and trying to line up targets that are a little bit out of range for them and, uh, you know, trying to get those precious few connections at that range and it's just a little too far. So they're kind of on that part of the map now where the shotgun suffers and uh, we'll see if either of them change it up. And Durka does. He goes back to an assault rifle. He does. Durka does see one push up onto Charlie. They still have the lead here, 125 to 17. Sees one, three fires. He knows the guys running around. He knows he goes here. Where did he? Where did he go? Uh oh, is he behind him? Where'd he go, Durga Omaha? Where'd he go? <laughs> That's the worst being on Metro and losing track. Um, and losing track. 124 to nine. That's going to be the end of the round here, guys. What you calling the final score here? I'm saying it's going to be 122 to zero. We'll know in just a moment. Uh, I'll say 121. Just to say what, just, just to just to undercut me by, by one ticket. <laughs> here it comes. Win. Two tickets remaining. Final score, guys. What is it? It's still wow. It's 122 to zero. Archer D1, one more ticket, whoever spawns spawn, it Durk next. Spawn. <laughs> but, but, oh, I think, you, I think you're going to get this. I think, Fess, you're right. Now it's 120 to oh, 119 uh, to 1. S somehow, Team Finland ends up getting a double cap. I love the discipline. Like, <laughs> right down to the wire, man. These guys Where's refuse to spawn. They want yeah, they're not every spotting, guys. point they can get. They're, they're not spawning. Uh, you know, it's all just, about our boy. <laughs> All about how, boy. Here, dedication and focus. You know, they they got one ticket left, and they're they're not gonna. That's it, guys. Gonna let it go. That's it. Final score was 100 and what 119 was that it? No, yeah, 114 to zero in favor of Team USA. Team Finland takes the map, though. Let's go into some analysis. All right, guys, that's the end of round two of the World Nations Tournament Three. Team USA versus Team Finland PlayStation Three Tournament 12v12 on Operation Metro. We saw Team USA win by, what, 114 tickets. However, since Team Finland won by an astounding 214 tickets, nearly 100 tickets more than Team USA, Team Finland is declared the victors of this tournament with Team USA in a close second place. So, Fats, what did you see different about this round compared to last round? Well, I just want to say good job, Team Finland. Uh really effective in everything they tried to do. Uh, USA, you know, obviously won this round. They did a really good job of disrupting, like I said, on Alpha, on the on the back gimme flag. I think that was the difference. They really distracted. You know, a lot of that was snack pack, you know, as we, we showed quite a bit of being sneaky back there. Uh, you know, Finland was uh, maybe a little more willing to be passive in this game, sit back and uh, just go for the win. Although we saw the aggression still coming through at the end there, so I'm not taking anything away from how they played at all. Yes, I I have to think that with how well Snack Pack performed being so sneaky in those bushes, getting the back cap even when Team Finland was able to successfully push under Bravo, I have to think that they would have had that a bit more in the first round, that it could have been a different outcome. But Nevertheless, yeah, Team Finland had great execution on Bravo. They had great coordination on Bravo. They had great spots. They had great reses. Uh, they I, went with a very traditional strategy on the map and out-executed Team USA yeah. in general. I, I know they did lose this round, uh, but overall, you know, their execution was a little bit tighter, and they went with a very tried-and-true strategy, and, and their strategy was just let's, let's do it better. And, and I think that's kind of what came through for them. I think you're right. I think you're right. Well, guys, that's the end of the World Nations Tournament 3. I know we only did two maps, but hopefully in the future, as uh, more events take place, be it on PlayStation 3, on Xbox, on PC, or even the next-gen consoles, come BF4, we'll be casting more of these events in the future. And so, 
even with spectator mode coming out. I still want you guys to record your POVs, so you guys to send them in my way. You could send them in at battlefieldreplays at gmail.com. We need at least three POVs at 720p or higher. And full uncut footage. Don't give us montage. You can send us montage if you, if you have a montage that you're proud of and you want us to, to use it in some future video. We can. But I really need those full uncut videos to create these kinds of really cool commentaries in the future. But, nevertheless, Fetz, I want to thank you for being here in this great PlayStation 3 commentary. It was a pleasure having you. Where can they find you on the internet? Guys, stop by 11 Bravo Gaming on YouTube and check out our videos. And a big thank you to Dasgro for all the work he puts into this. A lot of fun. I'm glad to have been a part of this game. Oh, yes. It's been a pleasure. I love doing it. I hope more of you send more POVs so I can do more of it. And uh, all that being said, I think we're good. I'll see you guys later. Really good uh, head glitch almost like on the yeah. escalators. Using those escalators, their advantage. He's one. Oh, all but an explosion happens. His face misses his thing. But as you'll notice, the uh, Team Finland is dropping C4 presence down. Oh, that's great. That's that's uh, that's something you don't see too much in competitive. No, play you I've don't. Watched. But with this many it's players, fun, though, you know, it's, uh... with this many players, you can do all sorts of things. Which Really only, you know, as I was you know, thinking about uh, recently, one of the things that, that is going to be featured in Battlefield 4 is that you can now use elevators. So what if they redo Operation Metro and you can actually use the elevators? Think of the be, uh, The first thing. Ooh, he did. Killed himself that, nice, with it, nice catch. I didn't catch that. Yeah, that was a that was a good uh, good move. I think a squad wipe, so that was pretty effective. Good it use it was, fun. and uh, Finland's still taking Bravo. Guys, Team USA has to win by 215 tickets to capture the victory in this round. All boys in the M320 taking it out onto the front escalators. We do on the other hand on Team Finland already pushing up on a front esk. Boy, Snackback tried to come up back escalators, and he couldn't even peek that corner without getting just mowed down. That's crap. Finland already showing us what helped them out win last round. That excellent map control and lane recognition. Yes. Uh, here, you know. Quad cam. A lot of pushes. Here it comes. Uh, look at all these pushes. Mixari already with a double. Shotgun. Ooh, too Dude, many there for the Spaz 12, maybe. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of structure. Good work, though, and uh, good pressure on uh, Team USA, who's desperately trying to get, uh, what do they need, 200-some uh, tickets here to to come back from their loss last round. Yes, and they are taking, uh, actually, let's go to Dirt Omaha. They are taking Bravo back, but he goes down very quickly. Wow, it's booked too soon. Snack Pack 96 does get back up. Uh, he does shoot someone in the face, but not enough. They, at the first round, they... Uh, Team USA lost, unfortunately, on the Russian Knox side. Here he just had, what, a four-piece with the C4? Ooh. All right, guys. We're here for round two of the Team USA versus Team Finland PlayStation 3 World Nations Tournament 3. And we're playing on this uh, second round on Metro. This map, we have a number of perspectives. We have Fetz with us as well. If we're going to perspective, Fetz, how are you? I'm doing great. Excited to see Team USA kind of put something together here. Um, kind of hoping they can um, really show some of their skill off this round. I hope so as well. We have We Do on Team Finland. We have Nick Sari on Team Finland. We have Al Boy. We and then on the U.S. side we got Snack Pack 96 and we got Dirk Omaha on the U.S. side as well. We got the cross awesome. in mind is putting C4 and then sending the elevator down with nothing but a bunch of C4 in it. Yes. Um, <laughs> Dirk Omaha with a great double kill in M320 LBG. Look at, check out Weedoo there on a, what, a three Whoa. or four piece in the blockers. Just, uh, as he, he finishes the last one, goes for two more. Dirk Omaha, though, with that LBG. Uh, that was good. That was, a, that was a fun little battle there. That was impressive. Dirk Omaha has gotten Bravo back with the rest of his teammates. They have taken it back. Still one more left. He sees Alboy. Alboy goes back. You get the revives. Come on. Let's, uh, let's see Team USA push up here. I'm just rooting for a, for a good competitive match, to be honest. Yes. Uh,